What's up guys, it's Eric from Rare Candy and welcome back to another pack opening and today obviously we have Burning Shadows. Uh, the day is finally here, Burning Shadows finally came out so that means we are going to crack open an entire booster box case of the set. So if you're unfamiliar with a booster box case, it comes with six booster boxes as you can see here. And if you're not familiar with our openings, usually what I'll do is in the first box, we'll kind of go through every card, do the card trick and all that good stuff. But in the next parts, we will, you know, kind of go a little bit quicker. But uh, yeah, so at least for this box, we'll show every card pretty much in its full glory. So yeah, Burning Show is definitely a pretty good follow up to the amazing Guardians Rising set we had. And uh, hopefully we can get some pretty good pulls out of here. There's definitely a good chunk of playable cards we could get. There's Gardevoir GX, that's kind of the big one in the set. Darkrai GX, a bunch of killer uh, secret rare like trainer cards and stuff like that too. So hopefully we can get uh, something good. But like I said, I think the big chase card of the set is gonna be Gardevoir. So let's see if I can get this box set up. And if you guys haven't seen the pack art, I'll show those off for you real quick. So here we have Ho-Oh, we got Marsh Shadow. It looks so cool, like I'm not even that big of a Marsh Shadow fan, but I just think this pack artwork looks pretty sick. We have Tapu Fini and then Necrozma. So yeah, let's uh, get into it and see what we can get. Let's start with these. And I actually haven't watched too many box openings yet for Burning Shadows, so I'm not really sure how pull rates compare to other Sun and Moon sets. Um, you know, typically the other ones have been like approximately six ultra rares per box. Sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less, but uh, so we should be aiming for about six per box. So here we have a Sock, an Oddish, Charmander, who's out in the rain, and he's probably gonna die. He's out in the rain, he's a fire type. It's not gonna work out too good for him. Uh, we have Meryl, Pan Sage, Water Energy, Bodybuilding Dumbbells, uh, Metapod, Wishful Baton, Reverse Hollow Toxicroak, which is a rare, so be happy to take that. And, ooh, got my boy Kingdra here. This is one of my, uh, I guess, I think it's like kind of an underrated card from this set. It's one I really want to try out more. We did post a couple of testing uh, matches with this deck, so definitely go check that out if you haven't already. But love Kingdra, definitely one of my favorite Gen 2 Pokemon. And I think it's actually a decently playable card, so that is not a bad way to kick off the box. Okay, let me separate some of these real quick. Alrighty. I'll move the box right back here. Uh, yeah, let's keep it in the middle here. That looks fine. So nice. Definitely uh, my favorite hollow from the set, probably. As far as like non-ultra rares, I'm trying to think of like the other playable stuff in the set. I think most of it's just the uh, ultra rares. <laughs> There's probably something I'm forgetting right now, but let's see. So here we have a uh, Wimpod. We have Togedemaru, Krogunk, a Panseer, Magikarp, Fairy Energy, a Guzma. Very nice. Definitely one of the better cards in the set. Looking for the full art one in particular if we can. Uh, we have Electric. A Wobbuffet, Reverse Hollow Hoot Hoot, and a Rare Tangrowth. So not too special there, but that's fine. We'll do Marsh Shadow next. And here, have a code, guys. And if you want more free uh, PTCG PTCGO codes every Friday on Twitter and Instagram. We try to give out some free codes when we get a chance. So definitely go follow us on there at Rare Candy TCG for some more free codes. So here we have a Panpour, Pan Sage, Esper, Salt, Noibat, Dark Energy, and I believe there is a secret of Dark Energy in this uh, set. So if we can get one of those, that would be pretty nice as well. Metapod, Porygon 2, Kiawe, another playable card, Reverse Hollow Tynemo, and a rare Pissimian. So not the best card in the world, but I love the art on this thing. This looks so sweet. Just a shame it's not a little bit more playable. 
So if you guys didn't know, I do play in addition to collecting or vice versa. If you come to us for the competitive stuff on the channel, I do collect as well. So actually, even if we pull a bunch of like trash GXs and stuff like that, I still need them for my collection. So I'm not going to be too bummed if we get like, uh, you know, Machamps or Charizard. There's some of the less playable stuff from the set. So here we have a Morlol, Caterpie, Meryl, Rhyhorn, Sandygast, Fire Energy, Super Scoop Up, definitely a card I'm happy to have back, Rotom Dex, Seedra, Reverse Hall Vileplum, nice, and a Hollow Gyarados, okay, not bad, not bad, Gyarados is not a, a terrible card by any means, so, you know, we haven't pulled anything groundbreaking yet, but we haven't really pulled anything terrible as far as our Hollow and better pulls. But within a couple packs, I'm going to start getting a little antsy. I'm going to start trying to get a, a GX or something here soon. So here I have Esper, Pikachu, Noibat, Dupider, Tangela, Dark Energy, Semipor, Plumeria, Solrock, Reverse Hollow Wimpod. Very nice since uh, Golispod is kind of a playable Pokemon in this set. And a rare Ledian. Here we have a Lediba, Alolan Grimer, Riolu, uh, Meowth, Alolan Vulpix, and I'm not sure what I think about the art on this. What do you guys think? Do you like the art from Guardians Rising better, or do you like this new one from Burning Shadows? Definitely let us know below in the comments. I'm kind of undecided so far. Uh, Lightning Energy, Bufflant, Reverse Hollow Porygon 2, Electric, oh I must have done the card trick wrong, I apologize. Yeah, I definitely did this wrong. We have a Rhydon and a rare Weavile. Uh, the attack on this is interesting. Rule of Evil, the 60 to each Pokemon that has an ability. It seems kind of neat. Like, theoretically, if you play against like a Mega Rayquaza deck and you do this twice, you can just win the entire game. But I'm not sure how I feel about this in general. But it is an interesting ability, if nothing else. Alright, so what are we like? Seven packs in, no ultra rares. We gotta, we gotta change this. I got a good feeling about a uh, Tapu Fini here. Hopefully, it is not a Tapu Fini. That, that is one thing I'm hoping for, though. I prefer to pull uh, good ultra rares, even though I do collect uh, Mudbray. We have a Lone Rattata, uh, Panpour, and I think we got something. Caterpie, Porygon, Psychic Energy. Rotom Dex Pokefinder, Viper, Super Scoop Up, Alolan Rattata, and an Alolan Muck GX. Okay, okay. Uh, Alolan Muck's not a bad card. We actually posted some videos with this guy recently. He seems pretty fun. Uh, he has that neat uh, free GX attack. So you switch your opponents benched with their active Pokemon. The new ones burn, paralyzed, and poisoned. So definitely a very annoying card, if nothing else. Uh, definitely happy to pull a little muck, not a bad one. Just let me get a sleeve on this guy. And we'll keep on trucking through this box. So, stick him back there. Okay, so let's keep on going. I had a feeling we were going to get a, uh, a GX there. Alrighty. So here we have a sock. Oops, hold on, let me separate some of these real quick. Alright, so we have Oddish, Charmander, Meryl, Pansage, Fire Energy, Electabuzz, Noctowl, Semipore, Reverse Hollow Morlol, and a rare Heracross. Okay. So, in other words, bulk. <laughs> No offense here, Cross. You're just not that good this time around. Okay, so here we have Crabrawler. We have Sneasel. Er, wait, hold on one second. Okay, never mind. Sorry. Uh, Sneasel, uh, Venipede, Horsey, Cutie Fly, Grass Energy, 
uh, Rabambi, which isn't uncommon, which I'm kind of surprised about. I, I thought that's supposed to hollow in Japan. I could be wrong, but it's a pretty decent card. Let you search two basic energies out of your deck every turn, so that's cool. At least it's easier to pull. Uh, you have Sophocles, Scape Rope, which I actually really like the new art on this guy, too. A reverse Hollow Tangela and a rare Meow Stick. So again, nothing too special. You know, the, definitely the first half of this box so far is a little slow, but that just means I guess we're saving all the good pulls for the end. So here we have a Wimpod, Togedemaru, Krogunk, Panseer, uh, Magikarp, Fighting Energy, Heatmore, which looks so sweet. I commented on this in another uh, Burning Shadows pack opening we did, but the art on this guy is just so awesome. I uh, can't get over it. I'm not sure how playable it is, but definitely a cool looking card. Panseer, Mount Lanak Lanakila? I yeah, I'm gonna go with Mountain, <laughs> just so I don't keep mispronouncing uh, this. Uh, Reverse Hollow Stuffle and a rare Persian. So again, striking out a little bit here. Not even like a hollow rare or anything. Okay, so let's see. We have a Mudbray, a Lowen Rattata, a Panpour, Caterpie, Porygon, Fairy Energy, Lunatone, a Wick, Wishful Baton, Reverse Hollow Meowth, and a rare Toxicroak. All right, so starting to get a little impatient. We need something good. Hopefully Necrozma can uh, help us out with this. It's been, what, like five packs now? So we should be getting close to another uh, GX or Ultra Rare of some sort, since it's usually on average about six packs uh, per Ultra Rare. So Hoot Hoot, Tangela, Dupider, Inke, Ralts, Dark Energy, Charmeleon, Tormenting Spray, Lana, Reverse Hollow Scolipede, which is a rare, and a rare Turtonator. Okay, so we're definitely at least getting all of the regular rares out of the way, if nothing else. I can't imagine there'd be too many more before we hit something good. Okay, so we have a Lediba, Alolan Grimer, Riolu, Meow, Alolan Vulpix, Psychic Energy, Bodybuilding Dumbbells, Seedra, Gloom, Reverse Hollow Charmander, and a Rare Beware. Alright, so next up we have a Ho-Oh Pack. We have a Wimpod, Togedemaru, Krogunk, Panseer, Magikarp, Grass Energy, Porygon 2, Potown, so I think that's our first one of the box so far, uh, Dusclops, Reverse Hollow Kiawe, okay, that's a decent uh, trainer to pull, and a rare Araquanid. Alrighty, so this is starting to get old, guys, what do you think? I feel like I'm definitely overdue at this point. We don't have too much left of this side of the box left to go either, which is also very concerning. So typically it's usually three ultra rare pulls per side of the box, but we still have some packs left. So let's try to stay positive. Uh, we have Morlul, Caterpie, Meryl, Rhyhorn, Sandy Gast, Metal Energy, Semiseer, Dusclops, Acerola, definitely a very good card to pull. Uh, we mentioned this guy on our, uh, or girl I should say, on our top 10 cards of Burning Shadows, which we did a video on. Uh, Reverse Hollow Crab Brawler, and... Oh, very nice! We have Darkrai GX. Definitely, um, you know, one of the best cards, I think, in this set. And, you know, people love Darkrai, so it's always kind of going to be a uh, sought-after card. But, yeah, definitely excited for this thing. Wow. So this thing looks pretty sweet, too. So... Definitely a cool looking card and one that's definitely going to see play. So 
very happy to get Dark Ride. That was worth the wait out of all those packs we went where we didn't get like a single thing. Okay, so let Dark Cry chill back here with his uh, fellow Dark Homeboy, uh, Alolan Muck. And let's keep on going. So I think we have what looks like roughly six packs. I could be wrong. Um, but we should have one more Ultra hiding in here somewhere. Let's see what we get. Okay, I think I felt something. So that's a very good sign. What do we have, guys? We have a Crabrawler, Sneasel, Venipede, Horsey, Cutie Fly, Reverse Hollow Potent. Wait, I definitely did the card trick wrong then. Uh, I hope I don't spoil this <laughs> too early. Okay, we have Whirlipede, Semi Sage, Weakness Policy. I think this is going to be our rare. We <laughs> have a Full Art. Machamp GX, well, I may have jinxed myself saying earlier I'd be down to get bad cards like Machamp. And here I have it. <laughs> uh, but like I said, I do collect in addition to playing. So, oh wait, there's still another card. Ooh, that's sick water energy though. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I will need one of each card to complete my master set. So, um, it's a card I don't have. So if nothing else, it will look very pretty in my binder. <laughs> Uh, if I could get Machamp in a sleeve, that'd be dope. So, definitely a cool looking card, if nothing else. But I am not sure if this card will see much play. So, I'm gonna let him chill back here, though. He's not quite uh, good enough to hang out with Darkrai, I don't think. Alolan Muck is even pushing it, but Machamp definitely is not uh, <laughs> qualified to hang out with Darkrai. Alright, so we have... Three ultra rares from this side of the box. Of course, we are going to try to get more, but if I had to bet on it, I would say this side of the box is probably tapped out. But uh, let's see, I might be puzzlingly surprised. So here we have a Lediba, a Loan Grimer, Riolu, Meowth, Loan Vulpix, Lightning Energy, Rhydon, Noctow, Mount Lanakila. Uh, Reverse Hollow Lucario, which is a rare set, it's kind of cool. And a Crabominable, which I actually forgot was in the set, is actually a pretty decent regular rare. You know, does 80 damage for one fighting energy, but of course, if you have a strong energy, it's 100, and a choice band bumps up to 130. So, not a bad card, I don't think. I don't know if it'll be tier 1 or anything like that as far as tournaments go, but definitely a solid card, if nothing else. More playable than Machamp, I would probably argue. <laughs> okay, so here we have a Hoot Hoot, Tangela, Dupider, Inke, Ralts, Fighting Energy, Olivia, Buffalant, Charmeleon, Reverse Hollow Horsey, which I am down to get because I love Kingdra, so I would not mind a Reverse Hollow playset of this evolution line. And a rare Shinotic, which is definitely not a good card to get, but that's okay. All right, guys, so it looks like we have two more packs left on this side of the box. Like I said, I am not sure if we will get another ultra rare. Um, we're probably tapped out, but we'll see. I've seen some boxes. I saw one guy, I think, online pulled like nine ultra rares out of his box. So who knows? We might be in for a surprise. So here we have Stuffle. We have Mudbray, Tynemo, Oddish, Duskull, Fire Energy, Curlia, Rabombi, uh, Guzma, I think it's our second one so far, Alolan Grimer Reverse, and oh nice, we do have another GX. We have Noivern GX, uh, one of my favorites from the set for that uh, distort attack for a double dragon energy, uh, while it's legal I guess. Um, you can do 50 and lock your opponent's item card. So definitely a very nice GX to get, much better than our boy Machamp back there. So, awesome. I guess we were in a, uh, for a surprise this time. Cool, so one last pack for this side of the box. I would definitely, I'd bet my life that this one is not anything great. That is okay, we still have another half of the box to go, so. We probably still have a few more GXs or something hiding around in here. Probably just not this pack though. But anyways, we have Crabrawler, uh, Sneasel. Ooh, one second. 
Sorry, I'm just trying to keep my reverses and rares uh, separate from the rest of the commons and uncommons. So we have a Sneasel, Venipede, Horsey, Cutie Fly, Metal Energy, Plumeria, Lunatone, Olivia, a low Eradicate Reverse, and a Hollow Darkrai. Okay. So at least we finished this half of the box with a Hollow. And Darkrai is not like the worst card in the world either, so. It's a, uh, you know, it's an okay card to close out this this half with. Yeah, like I said, four ultra rare pulls so far. So, you know, if uh, if I had to guess, we might end up closing out this box with seven total. I like the idea that we could get more than that, but uh, I'm thinking seven is probably a safe bet, though. All right, so here we have a Hoot Hoot, Tangle, well, <laughs> I'm the worst, I'm sorry guys, give me one second Look to pick up this pack. <laughs> well, I kind of spoiled the pack, but luckily uh, <laughs> we didn't get anything uh, too cool. We have a Reverse Meowstic, and an Electivire here. So, at least I didn't drop like a floor or something. Could have been worse. I think that's like the signature of, of this channel because I, I swear I have like three or four like pack opening videos that we've done where I just drop the pack all together. So, sorry for, um, sorry for me being, uh, I don't know, <laughs> being bad at this. <laughs> Okay, so here we have a Pikachu, a Panseer, Charmander, a Lowen Rattata, Porygon, uh, Lightning Energy, Bodybuilding Dumbbells, Sophocles, Electabuzz, Reverse Hall Pikachu, and a rare Lycanroc. And I actually wouldn't mind getting the other Lycanroc that's in the set, the Midnight Form one. Uh, that one is, I think, kind of decent. I forget what it does off the top of my head, but it's definitely more playable than the day form one that they put in this set. All right, so here we have Stuffle, Mudbray, Tynamo, Oddish, Duskull, Grass Energy, Weakness Policy, Town, Rotom Dex, Reverse Hollow Lana, and a rare Azumarill. Or is it Azumarill or Azumarill? I, I feel like I always say it Azumarill, but I hear everyone else pronounce it a different way. So let me know if I'm wrong. <laughs> All right, so here we have a Morlul, Caterpie, Meryl, Rhyhorn, Sandy Gast, uh, Water Energy, Wishful Baton, Solrock, Semipore, Mudbray, uh, Electros. Oh, I thought that was our uncommon for a second. Sorry, I kind of spaced out. Um, that tells you how good Electros is. <laughs> uh, but the art kind of looks cool on this guy, so if nothing else, um, it's a neat looking card. All right, so a couple packs into this side of the box and nothing special too far. And you know what I just realized too? You got four GXs for the first half of the box. I think when I pulled out some of the packs to show you the pack artwork, I pulled a couple from the left and right side, so maybe that extra one was from a different side of the box. So, I might have solved that mystery potentially. I'd like to think though it wasn't, uh, and that we're gonna pull extra stuff, but we'll see. Here we have a Togedemaru, Wimpod, Meowth, Magikarp, Krogunk, Psychic Energy, Semi Sage, Curlia, Heatmore, Reverse Hall Rotom Dex, and oh, okay, we have another GX. We have Salazzle GX. So, not one of my more sought after GXs, but I think this card has been getting a little bit of a bad reputation. I don't think it's as bad as some people are saying. I think it's kind of decent. But, uh, who knows? I don't, I will say, I don't think this will win a tournament or anything, but it's not a bad card, though. Just not a great one. 
So for that reason, I'm gonna sleeve up uh, this guy, or actually I think it's just technically a girl since all of these Salazzles are female in the game. Uh, and she's gonna chill out with uh, Machamp back here, I think. Okay, so here we have a Pampor, Pansage, Esper, Sock, Noibat, Fighting Energy, Escape Rope, Wick, Mount Lanakila, Versatile Lycanroc, this is the other one I was talking about, has that Dangerous Claws attack, 30 plus, uh, 30 more if your opponent's active is a basic, so it doesn't seem that great, but when you think of the uh, Choice Band you can put on it, and also uh, strong energy, you can kind of boost the damage output on this thing up to, what is that, a 110, I think, if you just have a choice band and a strong energy as your energy. So definitely not a bad card, I don't think. And then a rare hair cross. All right, so I would say it's safe to say we do have one more GX or ultra rare pull of some sort. So, Ideally, we can get a Gardevoir, that's the big card like I mentioned earlier, but also there's a couple of other ones I'm going to be on the hunt for. Um, Full Art Guzma is going to be a big one. Uh, the Secret Rare Choice Bands and Rescue Stretchers are also ones I really have my eye out on. So let's see if we can get one of those somewhere in this box. We have Stuffle, Mudbray, Tynemo, Oddish, Duskull, Metal Energy, Guzma, Whirlipede, Tormenting Spray, uh, Reverse Hollow Sneasel, and a rare Butterfree. And this is actually kind of cool, I didn't notice this, but uh, its attack is called Bye Bye Heal. I wonder if that's a reference to uh, the Bye Bye Butterfree episode. I think that's what it was called back in the anime. Um, <laughs> so I'm curious if that's why they did that, but if so, it's kind of funny. Okay, so here we have a Noibat, Alolan Grimer, Riolu, Cutie Fly, Dewpider, Fairy Energy, Semi Sage, Electric, Bufalant, Reverse Hall Magikarp, and a rare Scolipede. And the first time I saw this card, it kind of had me tripping because I thought the uh, card was a hollow because like these weird colors in the background. But then I was like, oh wait, it's just a regular rare. It faked me out. <laughs> So the first one I saw was like, you know, it's a bad card, but at least it's a hollow. But I was like, oh wait, no, it's bad, and it's just a regular rare. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay, so here we have a Pikachu, Pansir, Charmander, Alolan Rattata, oops, a Porygon, Water Energy, Seedra, Plumeria, Super Scoop Up, Reverse Hollow Weavile, and a regular Weavile. So double Weavile pack. Okay. So let's see what we get next. I think um, for regular hollows, the pull rates are normally about six per box. So I think we still have a couple of those we could potentially pull. I think we've only pulled three so far. So let's see. Maybe we can get one of those as well if we don't get a GX or something. So we have Porygon, Pansage, Esper, Sock, Noibat, Dark Energy, Metapod, Dusclops, Noctowl, Reverse Hollow Toga tomorrow, and oh, speaking of which, <laughs> we got a Hollow Vileplume. I'm not sure how good this card is going to be, but I actually really love the artwork on this thing, so if nothing else, it is a pretty card. But this ability, Disgusting Pollen, as long as it's your active Pokemon, your opponent's basics can't attack. So that might be okay at some point, we'll have to see, but uh, uh, it might just be binder fodder for all I know, we'll see. Okay, so I was kind of like whining about not getting hollows a second ago, maybe I should start whining about not getting more secret rares and ultra rares and stuff like that, maybe that'll bring me some good luck and get something uh, in the rest of these packs. Okay, so here we have a Sandy Gas. A Venipede, 
Sneasel, Alolan Vulpix, Horsey, Lightning Energy, Saviper, Wick, Wobbuffet. Oh, nice. We got Reverse Hollow Kingdra. Okay. I am definitely down for that. And a Marshadow GX. Very nice. So, Marshadow is definitely an interesting card to come out of this set. In standard format, I'm not too excited about it, but in expanded format, this Shadow Hunt ability, being able to copy your basic attacks from your discard, seems pretty good. You can play it in uh, Night March. So, I kind of want to experiment with that and see how it does there. You know, we also have like some Night March related merchandise that we sell. So I'm excited to maybe bust out uh, some of our old Night March mats that we made uh, and play around with this guy at some point. But definitely a pretty good card to get. And if I had to bet on it, this might be our last GX of the box we have. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five packs. You never know. We can uh, maybe make something happen. Let's see. Okay, so we have a Dupe Hider, Wimpod, Meowth, Magikarp, Krogunk, Psychic Energy, Charmeleon, Porygon 2, Semi-Seer, Reverse Hollow Crabominable, so a decent rare to get, and a rare Slowking. Okay, so here we have Pikachu, uh, Panseer, Charmander, Alolan Rattata, Panpour, Fire Energy, Solrock, Rabombi, Sophocles, Reverse Hollow Semi-Seer, and a Toxicroak. Alright guys, so three packs left still. No other Ultra Rares just yet. Honestly, I think if anything, we're probably more likely to pull like another hollow rare since I think we are a little bit under the amount that we would normally pull out of a box. So if I had to bet on it, that's probably what we'll get if anything. So here we have a Tynamo, Inkay, Crab Brawler, Lediba, Caterpie, Grass Energy, Gloom, Acerola, Wobbuffet, Reverse Hollow Mount Lanakilla, and a rare Malamar. All right, two packs left. We'll save our boy Mars Shatter for the end. Hopefully, bring us some good luck. <clears throat> uh, if I can finally get the card trick right, that'd be good. There we go. So we have Toga Demaru, Wimpod, Meowth, Magikarp, Krogunk, Fairy Energy, Tormenting Spray, Lana. A uh, Sviper, a rare Ledian. Okay, last pack of the box, Marsh Shadow. Come on, bring me some good luck here. Let's close out the first box with another Ultra Rare pull if possible. All right, so here we have Noibat, Alolan Grimer, Riolu, Cutie Fly, Togedemaru, Panseer, Acerola, Gloom, Escape Rope. Oh, I must have done the card trick wrong. <laughs> but we have Tapu Fini GX. That's going to be the last pull of the box. Did I not get a... Oh, we had a, re a reverse Panseer. I didn't even notice it was reverse. But yeah, we have Tapu Fini GX to close out the box. Not one of my favorite GXs from the set, but nevertheless, it is gonna bump us up to a total of seven for the whole box. So definitely better to get this than, you know, just some random uh, rare that, you know, that's gonna be useless. So awesome. So show off this guy a little bit. Definitely, I think the worst of the Tapu GXs that have been released, both in artwork and playability. But like I said, uh, definitely happy to get this to close out the box, if nothing else. But even though I am kind of a little pessimistic about it, I do think Tapu Storm GX has potential as a GX move. So you never know, Tapu Fini might uh, surprise us. But Tapu Storm, shuffle your opponent's active Pokemon, all cards attached to it, 
into their deck and uh, you can't use it, I think, if their opponent doesn't have any bench Pokemon. So yeah, closing out with seven uh, Ultras, that's pretty good. So just give me one second, I'm gonna clean up some of this and we're gonna do a quick recap. All right, guys, so for the box we have, for our Hollows, we have Gyarados, uh, Darkrai, Vileplume, and Kingdra. So, looks like we only got four, is that right? Hold on, I'm gonna double check myself. I feel like that's a very low amount. Like, because <laughs> normally it's about five or six. Again, maybe I skipped over something. We did get a decent amount of reverse rares, but it just seems weird to me just counting them out loud like that. And that may actually be right. But hey, if that means we get more GXs and Ultra Rare pulls, I am always down to sacrifice regular Hollow. So yeah, we only got the four. But like I said, we got some pretty good GX pulls. We have Marshadow GX, Noivern GX, Darkrai GX, Alolan Muk GX, Tapu Fini GX, and then we have, oh, we have Salazzle GX, and then we have a full art Machamp GX. That was kind of like our big pull as far as rarity goes out of this box. So a total of seven ultra rares to start off this case opening. That seems pretty good to me. So like I said, we have five more boxes coming up. So definitely stay tuned for those whenever they get uploaded. But as usual guys, feel free to like and subscribe and don't forget to check out our merchandise over at rarecandytcg.com. If you can pick up something to help support our channel, it'd mean a lot to us. But with that, I appreciate you watching and we'll see you for box two.